Milling, distilling and the linen industry were already established in Cumber in the 18th century. By the mid-19th century, industry was expanding in Cumber as technologies and processes evolved from the Industrial Revolution. Cumber's supply of water from the area's small, fast streams provided power for the water wheels and water for the processes. The Belfast and County Down Railway arrived in 1850 and Cumber became an important junction on the network. The upper distillery in Kalinchi Street was the oldest of Cumber's two distilleries, on a site where whisky had been distilled since the 18th century. By the mid-19th century, both distilleries were under common ownership. The product was a traditional pot still whisky, sold under the brand name of Old Cumber, very apt since much of the stock was aged for more than 20 years. The facilities in the upper distillery were upgraded to a high standard after a serious fire in 1919. At the time, they were rated as among the best in Ireland. Its water supply was held in a dam, supplied via an aqueduct from Ballyallaly Loch. A car park of Second Cumber Presbyterian Church now occupies the site. The lower distillery at the bottom of Bridge Street also had a dam, supplied direct from the Embler River. This dam has been replaced by a filling station. With both distilleries operational, around 75 staff were involved in production reducing to about 25 during the off-season, which was typically between May and September. The lower distillery last distilled in 1923 and was gradually run down thereafter. The upper distillery continued in operation, uh, but periods of temporary closure were not unusual. Lighter blended whiskies had dominated the market since before World War I. The last distillation of Old Cumber was in 1953, after which the premises were sold and used as an industrial estate, before housing was built on the site. At least it can be said that the distilleries still live on in spirit. In 1862, John Andrews embarked on the construction of what was to become the major employer in Cumber, the Andrews Flex Spinning Mill. The mill produced fine linen yarn, and over the following century, the mill complex was developed in stages, with new buildings and the installation of the latest machines to meet the demands of the growing business. Power was originally provided by steam engines, and water was supplied from three dams. At its peak, the mill employed some 550 people, mainly from the immediate Cumber area and houses for workers were built by the company in Brayside and Railway Street. The mill had its own school that operated from 1877 until 1938. The mill closed in 1998 and has been converted into apartments, retaining much of the original high quality stonework.
In 1896, the Albion was established in Belfast by two partners, Jack Featherstone and Ted Sharman. In 1910, the Cumber Factory was established in Castle Lane, the main product line being boys' trousers, though later it changed to include men's trousers. The production of civilian products ceased in 1938-39, to and the factory went over to making military uniforms for the duration of the war. In 1961, a new factory was built adjacent to the earlier site. By the 1990s, imports from lower wage economies had a damaging effect on the business and the company ceased manufacturing cumber in 1996. So in the iron brass founding process, um, we, we decided it wasn't for us. Um, and we just carried on developing the aluminium. And as time went on, uh, customers started to require different things. So there was more machining brought into play. And later on, um, CNC machining um, and powder coating. Uh, that required a fair bit of labour because the casting had to be cleaned up um, before it could be powder coated and, um, and even polishing in later stages we polished aluminium castings um, and all along the way um, these things had to be experimented with and tried out and we were buying second hand equipment from England and we were adapting things and building our own equipment. So there was an awful lot of interest. Today, most of the town's inhabitants travel to other places for their employment, but not by train, as the railway was closed down in 1950. Its track bed still lives on at the Cumber Greenway and the Cumber Bypass. Thanks to the work of the Cumber Regeneration Partnership, the commercial life of the town had been reinvigorated, including an annual potato festival, a monthly farmer's market, a wide range of food-related outlets and craft centres. Cumber Historical Society prepared this video and the accompanying material. The Society's monthly meeting is held on the second Monday of each month at 8pm in the Community Centre, Parkway, off Kalinchi Street, Cumber.